It's time to be creative in 3D and virtual reality, VR. It's time for Unity. In this video, we're going to go over Unity Learn, Create with Code, Player Control. So let's start by going to Create with Code. I'm going to sign in. And we're going over this player control unit one. Let's go over lesson 1.1. Start your engines. In this lesson, you will create your first game project in Unity Hub. You will choose and position the vehicle and the player to drive and an obstacle for them to hit or avoid. You will also set up the camera for the player to see through giving them a perfect view of the scene. Throughout this process, you will learn to navigate the Unity Editor and grow throughout. Throughout the process, you will learn to navigate the Unity Editor and grow comfortable moving around the 3D space. Lastly, you will customize your own window layout for the Unity Editor. So you all will follow the videos. Let's just do this. I'm gonna look at this on your desktop somewhere. Right click, create a new folder and name it, create with code. New folder, open up Unity Hub and create new. So here is Unity Hub, new. Now, you need to make sure you have 2018.4.28. <clears throat> if you don't, you should come here, click on add, and then make sure you add 2018.4.28. You cannot work on create with code with the current version that we previously installed. This was the previous version that we installed. You can see it right here make sure you have this one. So when you go to projects, when you have more than one version installed, you have to click on this little arrow and select the version you want. I want 2018. It says call it prototype one. So I'm just gonna copy this. Make sure you're using the correct version of Unity. Again, that's 2018.4 and set the location to the create with code folder, select 3D printlet and then create. So we're gonna go here do that again. So I'm making sure I select this prototype. I'm going to make sure I go to my desktop. I have my create with code folder, select that folder. 3D is here. I'm going to press create. I'm going to mark this step as complete. Import assets and open prototype one. The assets in this course are compatible only with this version 2018.4. If you're using a newer version of Unity, you will likely be encounter errors. So please make sure you're using the correct version of Unity before installing. That's why you have to make sure you have that. If you use 2019, which we previously installed, you will get errors. Unity is currently trying to open and then we will continue. And here is Unity. Click on one of the two links from the tutorial materials tab towards the top of the tutorial to access prototype one starter file. Then download and import that into Unity. In the project window and asset scenes, double click on prototype one scene to open it. So first we're coming up here, tutorial materials. You can see here's the prototype from the asset store or the direct download. I'm just gonna click on the asset store. I'm gonna click add to my assets and then I'm gonna click open in Unity. Click allow, I'll accept all cookies. Okay, that didn't work, so let's try that again. Let's click on Open in Unity, click Allow. You should see, I can click on Accept All Cookies, and click on Download. Now I can click on Import. The Unity package has a package dependencies. I'm doing Install. Now these are everything, all of the assets that we want to install, so I'm going to click on Import and we will see another folder pop up down here in our assets. And there you go, here's your course library. So if we go back, I can close this now. You see we were here. In the project window, select assets, scenes, double click on the prototype one scene to open it. So assets, scenes, here's the prototype one. I double click on that. Make sure you go back to your scene view and you can see this is that scene. Delete the sample scene without saving it. So I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to delete. Right click plus drag to look around at the start of the road. So inside of here, 
It's telling us to, so you can see here is kind of the road that we're gonna put our cars on in a second. So I'm gonna mark that as complete. Scroll down, add your vehicle to the scene. In the project window, open assets, course library vehicles, then drag a vehicle into the hierarchy. So assets, course library, vehicles, and you have these vehicles here that you can actually, you have a tank, a bus, SUV, a truck, and a van. I'm gonna drag that, and it says into the hierarchy. So that is over here, and you can see there's my little tank. Hold right click plus WSD to fly around the vehicle. So right click, you can see if I do W, it comes forward, S goes back, A goes to the left, D goes to the right. So you can see I can do that. W, A, S, and D on the keyboard. Press F in the scene view to focus on it, then scroll the wheel to zoom in and out to hold. So again, if I press F, that focuses it, then I can scroll in and out. So if I'm way out, if I press F, and if I'm way back here and I press F on the keyboard, you see it focuses and I can scroll in and out. Press F to focus on it. Hold Alt and left click to rotate around it. So over here, if I hold Alt, I can simply move around. Or if I push down, you can do the same thing. So Alt, again, you these are just little shortcuts for you to kind of go around. If anything goes wrong, press Control or Command Z to undo it. That's the same thing as coming here, edit, and you can see this right here. Let's go ahead and press mark step as complete. Add an obstacle to and, re and reposition it. Go to the course library obstacles and drag an obstacle directly into the scene. So assets, course library, obstacles. You have these obstacles that you can use and they want us to drag it directly into the scene. So let's say I, I'll drag a rock out. In the inspector for your obstacle, in the top right of the transform component, click the, the gear icon, re reset position. So I have my rock selected in the inspector. Here is the little gear icon, icon and I'm gonna select reset. Change the X location, XYZ location to 0025. So when I press reset, what that did is it put it back at 000. You can see that here, 0x, 0y, 0z. It wants this to be 0x, 0y, and 25z. So let's change this to 25. In the hierarchy, right click, rename your objects as vehicle and obstacle. So here, this boulder, I'm gonna right click and do rename, or I can come right here and I can call it obstacle. And I'm gonna click on this and I can come into my inspector. I'm gonna call it vehicle. And now I'm gonna click mark step as complete. Locate your camera and run the game. Select the camera in the hierarchy, press F to focus on it, press the play button to run your game, then press play again to stop it. So here's my camera, press F, press play, and then I'm gonna press stop. I'm gonna press mark, step S complete. Move the camera behind the vehicle. Use the move and rotate tool to move the camera behind the vehicle, looking down on it. Hold command, hold co control or command to move the camera by whole units. So move tool, if I hold command, it wants to use the move and rotate tool, so I wanna move this. behind it, but I wanna click up here. Here's your rotate tool. And I wanna rotate it. It's probably gonna be back to zero. There we go. And I'm gonna use a move tool to move up. And I wanna rotate it down. So I'm gonna drag this red and kinda of do down like that. And I'm gonna click the move tool and move it a little bit forward like that. Mark step as complete. Customize the interface and layout. In the top right corner, change the layout from default to tall. So you can see default, 
you can see they don't have that. They, they don't have, it says from default to tall, but if you look at it, it only has default. I can do more, I can load from disk. So we're just going to modify this and then save the layout. So I can click save layout and I'm gonna call it tall. So now you see I have a default and a tall. Move the game view beneath the scene view. So this, I'm gonna drag and put it like that. Then I can just, in the project window, click on the little drop down menu in the top right and choose one column layout. So in the project window, we can see here, you can see here is the drop down, and we want one column layout. In the layout drop down, save a new layout and call it my layout. Actually, we're actually gonna just save this as my layout. Now, I wanna move this project window over here. And I'm gonna put hierarchy at the top. And the console, we don't really need that, so I'm just gonna put the console behind here. That way, again, you can customize all this stuff, but now this is my layout. Actually, you can see it went back. So make sure you, I'm gonna drag this to the side like that. I'm gonna put this back here. I'm gonna drag my hierarchy above and let's go with that. So now I wanna save this as my layout. So now if I go back to default, that's the default. If I go to my layout, there's my layout. And I'm gonna delete the tall. All right, so let's press mark step as complete. Lesson recap, new functionality. Again, you can watch this video and it will talk about all those things. I'm gonna mark step as complete. 